Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I will be installing Windows Server 2008 on this laptop. Let's get right into the video. Now, you may be wondering to yourselves why I'd be installing Windows Server 2008, or you're probably yelling into the mic saying, why would I do this? This is a work working computer. It's perfectly fine. Why screw it up? Well, I'm doing it for fun. I guess it'd be nice to get the experience on installing Windows Server 2008 on an actual laptop. And I'm sure a lot of you guys would probably like to watch that in the meantime. So let's get started. Now that we have the computer on, what we're going to do is put the Windows Server 2008 installation disk in the DVD drive. Now, before we do any of that, uh, I'd like to mention that some of you guys may or may not recognize this computer. This is the computer that I did the downgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 7 video on. If you haven't watched that, I'll leave a card in the top right hand corner so you can go check that out right now or after the video. So we're going to take this, this boot disk, and put it into the DVD drive. Now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and shut down the computer. Goodbye Windows 7. <laughs> Now that it's off, let's turn it back on, and it should boot right from the installation disk. I can hear the fan spinning, well the DVD drive spinning, and there's some weird sounds coming from it, so it should work. Alright, we're just going to press enter, and bam, Windows is loading files. So now that we see that, we know it's worked. Now we have a Windows Vista looking boot up screen thing right there, a loading bar. We'll just wait for that to finish up. There we go. Windows Server 2008. So all the settings are set to how I like them right here. The language to installs on English, time and currency formats in English United States, and keyboard or input methods on US. And you can go, if you're doing this, you can just go and change it to your selected settings. And we'll click install now. I don't have a product key for Windows Server 2008, so I'll just skip this step. So now we can choose the server, the Windows Server that we bought. For me, we're gonna do Enterprise. I accept the license terms and we'll click next. So of course we can't do upgrade for about a thousand reasons. And don't click upgrade if you have the option, that's completely pointless. So you're gonna click custom advanced and you'll see two partitions or just one we're going to format this partition right here we're going to format both of them it'll say if you format this partition all data stored on it will be permanently de deleted now i hate myself for not saying this at the start but if you're like me and you have a laptop and you want to transform it into a server please please back up all your files it will be completely wiped once you format the partition so go do that if you've made it to if you made it this far then i'm sorry i didn't mention it before you can hate me in the comment section that's that's up to you but we're gonna format it and you can see the total size 465.7 gigs and i have 447.5 free space all right now we have a fair amount okay now we're just going to format this too okay we're gonna, we can't choose this one obviously, so we're just gonna choose this one because it has about 500 gigs of storage space. Now this part here, it takes about 100 trillion years. Well, at least Windows 7 took 100 trillion years to do. So I'll leave this and I'll be back once it finishes installing.
And there we go. Windows Server 2008 has been fully installed. Well, it says user's password must be changed before logging in. We're just gonna click okay. And we're gonna create a password. So I'm just gonna create one quickly. And there we go. So it's preparing your desktop. And right after this, it will be installed. Oh, that was quick. So there we go. It's been successfully installed onto the computer. Let's see if we can adjust the uh, aspect ratio. So we're going to go to display settings. Resolution high. Let's see what this does. All right. That's much, much, much better. We're going to save that. All right. We're going to click OK there. And I don't need to go through that. We got even more things popping up. And that's it. So, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like our videos. Thanks. Have a great day.